you folks made me do it what's up everyone i'm gonna be reacting to this viral programming videos that we see on TikTok. how i was able to learn javascript in two weeks um how i make five hundred thousand dollars one million dollars um a year a, a month i don't know uh, but we see this viral programming videos um Things that go viral on TikTok and if I want to start studying TikTok, I might go viral tomorrow because I know what exactly triggers you. So day in the life of a software engineer. What's up? 40k month. 40k month should be around 480, 480 a year. Okay, so let's let's take this back and start again. Of a 21 year old software engineer. So, there are many um, tech startups that actually do this, that actually give free meals, free lunch every day. I worked in one of them um, where we had free meals. And I think most, most of the tech startups these days do that. You know, they give free meals and free lunch. So, this shouldn't be um, anything out of the ordinary. Does it, is this a day in the life or one day in my whole life? Because are you enjoying the rain and rooftop view every day? Is this your typical day? A day in the life of a software engineer should mean your typical day. So it's not your typical day. Who knows? Okay, I think he, he just brought all the good parts of his life and put that in one day. Okay, so you're back home working. I mean, not bad, not bad. Except 40k a month, a 21 year old, it's rare, but it's not impossible. Um, My very who's next? realistic day in the life of a software engineer. I wake up at 8. Hey, so it's already looking very realistic. 59, one minute before my stand up. I have my laptop with me already so that I can do my stand up in bed. Honestly, my coworkers can probably tell that I just woke up because. Yes, yeah, so I've done stand ups in bed also, but my camera is never on. How does she leave her camera on and is doing stand-up in bed with her bed sheet right there? Don't do that, please. My voice is so croaky and I sound really sleepy. After stand-up, I fall asleep for another half hour. Then I get up, get ready, have coffee, eat breakfast, and start coding. By the way, this is not code for my actual company because I could literally get fired for showing you guys that. So instead, I'm showing you code for a personal project that I've been working on for the last six months and will probably never finish at this point. At 12 p.m., I eat lunch and daydream of free food. Is she like, is every, are people like that? Are there, yeah, I think there are people like that, that you time everything you do at nine o'clock this is exactly what i do at 10 45 a.m this is what i do at 12 p.m this is what i do or is this another one day in all my life food in the office at 1 p.m i have a design review meeting in which i give feedback on the designs our designers present for components we will be building for a new section of the app totally not multitasking at the same time at 3 p.m. I hit my midday slump and I'm feeling unmotivated, so I log into ADP and look at my pay statements. That's enough motivation to power me through the rest of the day. I code for another time. So one thing I'm saying is this doesn't seem like my, uh, my typical day, but this is a day that can be in my life. This can be one of those days in my life of a software, as a software engineer. I'd love to see someone do my typical day. What's the average thing I do? Um, Two hours, then open up a pull a request. As a software engineer. 73 files, yikes. Then I assign it to my poor reviewers and call it a day. Files change my 73. Very realistic day. <laughs> well, wow, that's going to be an interesting pull request. Okay, it's sad day in the life of a programmer. It's sad day. Two hours later. I think I guess I guess that so that's just write code then it, it works and you come back to the code base and you're like but you worked you worked just now like 
I, I just worked on you and you were running successfully. What's, what's happened? What changed? Um, so things like that happen. So you can expect to see that in your day as a software engineer. I don't get it. Is this like your idea of senior engineers versus junior engineers? If that's your idea of senior engineers versus junior engineers, that's just wrong. Because anybody can use Stack Overflow, anybody can copy code to Stack Overflow, anybody can just write code and have tests pass. Anybody can also have their test fail, anybody can have their program fail. Um, but yeah, these are the kind of things that go viral on TikTok with 172,000 likes because well, everybody wants to talk bad about junior engineers. I can tell you everything to make $200,000 a year and you're not going to listen. This video has 1.7 million views. No, so let's because see. even though you can learn it for free, most people don't have the willpower. Frank's right. I can tell you everything to do to go from zero to 200K a year and you're probably not going to listen. I'm going to show you the exact process you need to go from zero to making six figures in just one year. Just so you in one year. You know, I'm not talking shit. This is a picture of me working at Canva and they pay the entry level engineers six figures. I can guarantee what I'm going to tell you works. Oh, wait. Remember he said he was making, uh, he was making $40,000 a month at 21. Which was like 480K. And now he's making 160000 Dollars a year. <laughs> Actually, what? Unless that same 21 years, that same year, he jumped to 400,000, from 160,000 to 400,000, 480,000, that's half a million a year. So, folks, this is, or maybe he has other sources of income, but this is why you should not let social media put you under any kind of pressure because people can come and see whatever they want and you believe it i did a post on linkedin where where i was just trying to make a point and i said i learned javascript in i think i said seven days i became a senior software engineer and got a job in like two weeks i was trying to pass a point i was saying this is not true you know don't just believe everything you see I wrote it down actually. What I'm saying, I wrote it down. Don't believe everything you see on the internet, on social media. Don't let other people discourage you. Um, you start saying, God, when? Look at this person. Uh, look at this person. The person just started and they're ending this because of what they wrote on Twitter or LinkedIn or TikTok and all that. And it comes to, and you're, you're wondering, why am I not like that? Why am I not like that? Anyone can say anything on the internet. Don't use that to judge yourself or judge your life. So, who had he was making $500,000 a year and now he's making $160,000 a year, which is true. <laughs> so don't believe everything you see. Um, focus on yourself instead. You know, you can listen to people's success stories and all that and all that and all that, but people can say whatever they want to say and there's nothing you can do about it. When you need six figures, I can guarantee what I'm going to tell you works. It's exactly what this 19 year old kid did to make 200K a year at Meta in eight months. The first thing you want to do is go to financeimplified.com and do it from start to end. After just two weeks, you can already start making websites and building websites for businesses. So you can pretty much do it for free. Once you're finished, do three questions of this a day. Then go to this website and solve the medium problems so you can solve them in 20 minutes. If you do this step by step, I promise you, you'll be better than 99 computer science graduates at front end development. I'll show you how to use all these skills in detail. So basically, how you can make $200,000 in a year is by taking um, a front-end development course and solving code challenges. Is that not what everyone is doing? Uh, you should at least say something that stands out, give someone a guide. This is the exact thing you do. You're telling me what every other person is doing. Uh, uh, oh, come on. 
TikTok. And this is the kind of thing that goes viral on TikTok. 1.7 million views. Maybe I should do what? Maybe I should do what? What will I say? <laughs> I make a million dollars monthly as a 17 year old. That would make for a fun TikTok video. And I promise you, it will go viral. A lot of people start questioning their lives. They won't care about the video or who's talking in the video. Once they see that headline, once they see that information, they will feel depressed, discouraged. They'll start questioning their lives. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? The 17 year old is making $1 million a month. You won't even ask yourself, how is this possible? How is this person making a million dollars a month? I promise you, a lot of people will get depressed and discouraged because people are always looking for reasons to talk bad about themselves, to beat themselves up. So you see a reason, someone gives you a reason, you just grab it immediately and like, oh, I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm not doing well, I'm not um, progressing, this, that, this, that. Look at all these other people on the internet. They are progressing. Look at my life. Nah, nothing good is happening. You know, you should stop that. Stop comparing yourself with other people. Learn to focus on yourself and your own growth. You want to make comparison? Fine, make comparison with yourself six months ago. Make comparison with yourself a year ago. Then if there's not been any difference, or if you've actually declined, then you can get bothered. But if between you right now and you a year ago, you're better off, then you're doing well. You know, if you've gotten more knowledge, you know, if you've, you they have a job, they have a job now. Or if you were not building projects then, you're building projects now. Or if you did not understand this particular concept, you understand it right now then you're doing well so compare yourself judge your progress judge your life with your own past and not with random people you see on the internet or other people you did not start at the same time you're not going to the same place you know nothing about them you don't know whether it's true or whether it's false so um i hope that helps and this is it this is my reaction to mostly day in the life of software engineer and you know how you can make five hundred thousand dollars a year as a 21 year old and at the same year, you're making $170,000. <laughs> All right, everyone. See you in my next video. So go check out my other videos right now, right now, right now. They're right here and right here. And uh, hit the subscribe button and help me destroy that like button. Like. <laughs>